to this afternoon session and the second part of topic two. And we'll have two interesting presentations uh, related to the uh, traditional knowledge again, and um, one about the management to maintain this. And I uh, want to present you uh, Dr. Rona Gyadev. He's based on the Forest uh, Botany Division, the research, uh, Forest Research Institute in Gerhardun. And the presentation will be pre-recorded, but he is present and he can answer the questions coming from the audience. So please, to the secretary to start the presentation. I am Rona Kiyadav, PhD scholar in Forest Research Institute, Teradun, India. Research under the theme of education on sustainable forest, forest product utilization and wood culture. And the topic of my research is the cultural and symbolic importance of ficus religiosa in India. Coming to the contents of my presentation, which are as follows. Starting from the distribution of ficus religiosa, then classification, then importances and significances related to ficus religiosa, which includes social significance, cultural significances, ethno-medicinal usage, religious importances, and scientific aspects related to the tree. And finally, the conclusion. Firstly, I would like to introduce about ficus religiosa and its distribution in India. India is a land of diverse ethnic groups, unique in terms of tradition, culture, language, and religion. And also India is a secular state with no state religion. It is a land where almost all the major religion of the world practice their religion. Now we talk about the distribution. Ficus religiosa is endemic to the Asia tropical regions including Bangladesh, India, Nepal, China, Myanmar, Thailand, Vietnam and Iraq. It was initially introduced to Sri Lanka in 288 BCE and later other neighboring Asian countries like Singapore and Philippines. And this is the native species which growing throughout India in all states except Andaman and Nicobar. And because of its nativeness and specificness, this tree is titled as a state tree of Bihar, Haryana, and Odisha state of India. Here is the classification of species ficus religiosa where we can see the species of ficus religiosa belong to the order Rogels of family Morrissey. And this species has many vernacular or local names in India. In Hindi, this tree is known by the name of people and scradfic. And in Sanskrit, Aswatha which means a holy tree under which God sit in Hindu origin. And in Gujarati, the ficus religiosa is known by the name of a people. Now, we talk about the ethnic significances of religious belief of ficus religiosa. First, in Bhagavad Gita, Lord Krishna says, I am the people among the trees. As I already said, the word Aswatha, meaning which means a holy tree under which God sit in Hindu origin. It is a Sanskrit word. Bhagavad Gita is a part of largest epic of India, that is Mahabharata, and it's composed of a dialogue between Prince Arjun and Lord Krishna. And Lord Krishna is an incarnation of Lord Vishnu. In Sakand Puran, we consider the people to be a symbol of Vishnu, and Lord Vishnu is said to have been born under a peepal tree. And Skand Puran is the largest Mahapuran of India. People in India believe that in the tree, they recite the three murti, the roots being Brahma, the trunk being Lord Vishnu and the leaves being Lord Shiva. And also it is a source of energy and eradicate negative vibes. Now, I would like to move the religious importances of this tree. According to Hindu scriptures, as I already said, 
this tree is regarded as a homage of the trinity lord bharma lord vishnu and lord mahesh and also in buddhism people believe that under this tree lord gautam buddha has attained enlightenment hence the called bodhi tree or bo tree along with the religious importance ficus religiosa has some cultural significance also people in india also believe that when they light a diya at the base of this tree they will gain enormous health wealth and prosperity here the picture that depicts the light lighting of a diya at the base of a tree the people believe if they light diya they gain enormous health wealth or prosperity if we talk about social significance of ficus religiosa in india this tree has some ceremonial practices like mangalik dosh nivaran puja in which a widowed girl child first married to a people tree in which villagers encircle around both the tree to rid themselves of their sins the belief in hindu jam if a girl's horoscope predicts widowhood or mangalik dosh she is first married to a people tree on chaitra krishna or ashwin krishna tirtya chaitra and ashwin are the hindu calendar months in olden days when remarriage was forbidden for girls young widows were married to the people tree and then allowed to remarry here the picture that depicts the marry between young widowhood girls and with people trees and the villagers in circle around the both around the tree to rid themselves of their sins second the neem and people marries on amavasya no moon day villagers perform a symbolic marriage between neem azadikta indiga and the people ficus religiosa which are usually grown near each other in one such belief the fruit of the neem represent the shivlinga and so the male here the picture depicts the fruit of the neem azadikta indiga and the leaf of the people represents the yoni the power of the female here the picture that depicts the shape of the ficus religiosa leaves like a yoni the power of the female the fruit of the neem is placed on people leaves to depict shivlinga which symbolize creation through sexual union and so the two trees are married and after the ceremony villagers circle the rit the tree to rid themselves of their sins after the religious cultural and social significances there are some ethno medicinal importances of ficus religiosa ficus religiosa is being used to cure various infect infections and food poisonings the tribals and local peoples of different regions of india use this tree in the three traditional healthcare system from ancient times the bark is used to cure skin diseases mouth ulcers and diabetes the leaves and fruits are used in treatment of diseases like asthma cough diarrhea and gastric problems the stem wood can be used in the treatment of urinary disorder and the problem of digestive system the dry dried powder of fruits has been used in treatment of the respiratory problems like asthma different parts can be consumed either in raw forms powder extract or in form of indigenous medicines either alone or in the combination with other herbs for specific elements along with these ethno medicinal importances the entire parts of the ficus religiosa exhibits a wide spectrum of medicinal importance as anti diabetic antioxidant anti microbial anti ulcers and anti cancer property of ficus religiosa and there are some scientific aspects which related to the ficus religiosa the ficus religiosa releases oxygen all the time which make it different from other plants most plant largely uptake carbon dioxide and release oxygen during the day 
and uptake oxygen and release carbon dioxide during the night. Some plants such as ficus religiosa can uptake carbon dioxide during the night also like day because of their ability to perform a type of photosynthesis called Cresulation Acid Metabolism CAM pathway. However, it is not true that they release large amount of oxygen during the night. Ficus religiosa is a hemi-epiphyte. In its native habitat, that is the seed germinate and grow as an epiphyte on other tree. And then when the host tree dies, they establish on the soil. It has been su suggested that when, the, when they live as epiphyte, they can CAM pathway, Cresulation Acid Metabolism pathway to produce carbohydrates. And when they live on the soil, they switch to C3 type of photosynthesis. So, ficus religiosa would either release or not release carbon dioxide in the night depending on if they are a epiphytes or not or if they are using a cresulation acid metabolism pathway or C3 type of photosynthesis. Some scientific studies also reveals the tree ficus religiosa release a volatile organic compounds, isoprene, which play an important role in preserving the ozone layer at stratosphere. Now I would like to conclude, ficus religiosa is a widely branched deciduous tree with leathery, heart-shaped, long-tipped leaves used in the Indian system of medicine since very ancient times and also has ethnic religious beliefs. The multiple benefits of ficus religiosa made it, is a, it a true miracle of nature. It is one of the most versatile plant having a wide variety of medicinal activities, therefore used in treatment of several type of disease. This is the unique source of various type of compounds having diverse chemical structures. And based on these above aforementioned facts, and information, we can conclude that the ficus religiosa is unique and it has a combined special features with respect to social, cultural, religious, ceremonial, ethnomedicinal and medicinal importances. Owing to the above facts, this tree can be seen in the vicinity of almost all major temples and is regularly worshipped and regarded as the tree of life. Finally, I would like to pay my gratitude towards World Wood Symposium team and their members and all listeners. Thanks to hear me. So thank you very much for this interest, interesting presentation and excuse the, the problems in between, but this is uh, for, probably to the inconstant consistent internet. So. Uh, I, we can ask if, if we are short of time. I would like to ask a question. Is this important knowledge um, part of the education for the, for the children, for instance, or for the young people? And how to maintain and force this knowledge this, uh, of, of natural um, medicine? Yes, Dr. Ronak. Yes, ma'am, I can't understand your question. Please repeat. Yeah, is this knowledge, this important knowledge of, of natural um, medicine, is this part of the education? Is this handed over to the, to the next generation? How is it maintained? Yes, ma'am, from, ma from ancient literature like uh, Vedas, Puran, Vedas, Purans, and Epico, Epiki has evidence regarding this tree. So ethnobot ethnobot botany passed this uh, knowledge to new generations because of this ethnobotany. Mm -hmm. No, thank you. Is that a question from the audience? No. Then I would like to thank you once more also for the efforts to 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 keep on to, and to, to as your your efforts to present this. Uh, this uh, presentation and thank you very much once again.